So we cordially uh, welcome you today at the public lecture, Russia's foreign policy towards South Yemen, past, present, and future perspectives, with Dr. Noel Prihuni, chairman of the British Yemen Society and author of Yemen Divided, the story of a failed state in South Arabia, and Samuel Ramani, uh, who is a PhD candidate in international relations at St. Anthony's College at the University of Oxford. So this event is organized by the Academic Forum Muhammad Ali Lukman, which was founded in April 2018 in Berlin. The lecture today will explore past relations between the Soviet Union and the PDRY and Russia's current diplomatic mediation initiatives in South Yemen, as well as Moscow's position on the struggle for the current struggle for independence in South Yemen. So we will start with uh, Dr. Noel Prihuni. We are very pleased to welcome you here today. Uh, he is, as I already said, the chairman of the British Yemeni Society, a council member for the British Foundation for the Study of Arabia, and a trustee of the Al Tajr Foundation. His book on the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, Yemen Divided, the Story of a Failed State in South Arabia, was published in March 2011. He co-edited Re Rebuilding Yemen and Hatramaut and its diaspora. After completing a PhD on Libya, he spent two years on postdoctoral research on the West Bank before joining the Foreign and Commonwealth's Office, where he worked mainly on the Middle East with postings to Kuwait, um, the PDRY, Jordan and Egypt. He followed events in the PDRY until it became part of the Republic of Yemen in 1990. He was then director of Middle East Affairs at Rolls-Royce. Rolls he was president of the British Society for Middle East Studies and chairman of the Council for British Research in the Levant. And he is uh, on the advisory board of the London Middle East Institute at SOAS, where he was also a research associate until 2011. So welcome, Ewan. Well, <coughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's also uh, a great honor to be talking at the, uh, this particular uh, group because uh, uh, the, the, the name of the, um, the founder, of course, lives very much in the um, imagination of, uh, of the Yemenis and, and Asians in particular. But, but I want to really go back to in this talk. Can you all hear me and understand me? Um, I'll try and speak slowly. I'm not used to speaking slowly, so do uh, do stop me. We're really going back to um, you know the 1960s to start at when. Um, at the time of the Cold War, the enmity between the East and West, um, uh, uh, and where the Soviet Union uh, was uh, looking at the Middle East, not just in terms of, uh, 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 of strategy, but also in terms of the, uh, 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 of the socialist system within, within the government. And you see these themes that come out in its policy in, uh, in Yemen, both strategic aims, uh, looking at, at what it, it, the Soviet Union could get, Russia could get from, from PDRY, but also strong investment in, 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 uh, in, in Aden uh, as a, 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 a country which was on the socialist path. Um, it was never in, in, in Moscow's eyes uh, uh, a socialist country, but it was, on, it was seen as a country uh, was on the path to socialism and then uh, orientated towards socialism. Uh, this may sound esoteric, uh, but uh, it actually it affected the amount of uh, finance and aid and support that was given to, the, uh, to, 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 to South Yemen. Just to remind you of what, where, where Yemen is, uh, and looking at this in, in strategic terms in, of, of the 1960s, um, the British were just leaving the Gulf. Um, the Americans were uh, uh, expanding into the region. Uh, Russia, uh, uh, in the early 1970s, lost its, uh, its foothold in Egypt, and then in the late 1970s in, in Somalia. Uh, uh, and um, uh, um, because of this, uh, Aden uh, grew in importance uh, uh, from in, in the 70s and 80s. Now, I'll, I'll come to that later. Just to remind 
I don't think I need to remind this audience looking at it, the, the, the border between North and South Yemen. Um, but it's important when you're looking at it from Russian Soviet eyes that Yemen, uh, it, it, it may be two countries, but 80% of Yemenis are from the north. Uh, and this is obviously something which will, will affect the way that uh, it, it looked at the, at the country, it's the way others look at it. But just, the, just to remind you where the border is, um, uh, and that unity, as I've come to uh, in a minute, was a, was a big issue for both, uh, both governments in, in, this, in this period. I mean, I, I was a diplomat in, Aden in 1970, in the time of Abdul Fattah Ismail, Salam Rabbi Ali, and Ali Nasser Muhammad. Uh, and I, I think every speech that they made talked about the importance of Yemeni unity. This was the aim of the PDI was to unite with the North, um, which is uh, interesting when, when, when one look, looks at the situation today. It's also to remember it, at the beginning of this that, that, that the uh, a PDI um, really sprang into existence from, from uh, almost nothing. The Na National Liberation Front, which uh, led the re revolution, was only set up in 1963 and took power uh, in 1967. Um, and that photograph in the middle, uh, I, you may recognise some of the faces, but uh, the, the three in the middle are, um, are um, from the left to right, Muhammad Ali Haytham, uh, Ali Nasser Muhammad, and uh, Salam Rabai Ali, who were their, their guerrillas, and yet here we are a few years later, these two of them, and you know, some Muhammad Abdul Fadl Ismail and uh, uh, as uh, Salam Rabai Ali, uh, leading uh, the government, and you can see the symbolism of that, the uh, the way things had changed, and the socialist measures uh, were, were being brought into being. But although the in the in the first two in 1969 there was a uh, the PDLY government. Uh, um, uh, be be became much more left-wing when uh, the first president, Qatar al-Shaabi, was, was, was removed. Uh, and it was from that time onwards one, one has seen the, the growth of socialism and the, uh, the strengthening of the relationship with, 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 uh, with, with Moscow. But when they first uh, took over, uh, uh, the, the, the government was, uh, the, the DNLF was much more influenced by the uh, uh, by Naif Wattman and George Habash from the Palestinian movement. These were the key figures that they looked to. And, and these two figures had a lot of influence in, in, uh, in, in, with the party and in PDOI throughout uh, the, its existence. So they didn't really approach, uh, approach this uh, with, with, uh, from a Marxist uh, perspective. But the uh, NLF uh, merged with the Aden Communist Party and the left-wing Ba'ath Party in the, uh, 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 in the uh, uh, 1970s uh, uh, to form the Yemeni Socialist Party. Uh, and at that time, uh, the Aden Communist Party was led by um, um, uh, Ba'adib, uh, Al Ba'adib, who was uh, the Minister of Education. I met him several times uh, 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 in, in Aden in, in, at the time. A highly intelligent man with a, with a, a, a considerable amount of influence in the party. Um, now look, looking at Russian support to, to, uh, uh, to uh, PDRY, uh, in, in, um, this is trying to look at it the whole period, uh, it changed in, in different parts, um, but there's very little evidence that I've seen of any contact between, uh, the, um, between Moscow and um, the um, NLF before independence. There must have been in Samar and in, in Cairo because uh, they both were there. Um, but Moscow moved very fast uh, to move in, um, despite its reservations about its leaders. In, in 1970, when I was an eight, I met uh, a, a senior Soviet diplomat that I knew from, uh, uh, known in Kuwait. Uh, I met him in the street and I said to him, what are you doing here? And he said, well, I've been sent here, and I'm coming here in a party capacity, I've been sent by the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, uh, and my job is to try and help uh, the, the, the people here to uh, form their own vanguard party, their own communist party, their own uh, uh, vanguard, well, vanguard party, as they prefer to call it. He said, we don't know what, what, what to make <laughs> of, of, the, of these leaders. They say they're Marxist, uh, uh, but we're, we're trying to help them to actually become Marxists. Um, but despite all that reservation, uh, 
it was uh, the, Moscow recognized the new government in two days, had its embassy with, there within two months, and a military delegation's arms started arriving all in the first year. So it was very, very, uh, very, very quick. And, um, and it, took, it moved even faster after 1969, when the, um, the state became more stable and the, and the left-wing uh, uh, trend of the government was, was, was clearer. Um, and in that period, the, um, uh, with Soviet advice, the army uh, was completely reorganized um, uh, and retrained and re-equipped. Uh, there was an extraordinary amount of something like, over the period, I think CIA estimated that something like $2 billion was spent, which, you know, this is 1960s, 70s billion dollars, was spent on de developing the, uh, 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 the PDRY armed forces. But it was actually critical to the PDRY that, that, uh, that, um, that it had the means to defend itself and also defend the regime. So that, so that, the, uh, so that Moscow was playing a strategic, critical part of, part of the regime. Um, the second area of, uh, of support was in creating the Yemeni Socialist Party, uh, building up the, um, the capacity of the party. Um, uh, 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 the, the Communist Party of the Soviet Union uh, and Soviet organizations provided advice and training for uh, uh, Carter. Something like 20, the, the, uh, in, in Aden, uh, a, a school was set up called the School of Higher, sorry, School of Scientific, higher School of Scientific Socialism. It was written, its name was then changed to Abdullahi School of, uh, of Scientific Socialism, but it was um, uh, 20, something like 25,000 South Yemenis were trained uh, either in that school or in similar institutes in the Soviet Union and, and in other parts of the country. And, and, and there was significant economic support, mostly in the form of projects and advisors, uh, not, not money. Not money, so it's going backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, for this audience, uh, I think uh, it was backed up by by the uh, Russia's allies. East Germany, uh, the GDR, sent advisers to help with the constitution. The original, the 1970 constitution, was written uh, with the advice of uh, East German experts. A mini Stasi was created in uh, in in uh, in Aden. Um, uh, under Mossin, uh, Mossin, the, the, the Minister of, uh, of uh, Security was, was running it, but uh, it, it, it was, it, it, there were East German advisors in that institute throughout that period. Um, um, and, and Cuba played a big role. I mean, Fidel Castro was a regular visitor, playing, providing in training, uh, training the uh, uh, defense units, training, also training security. And then after, after 1973, it, it became stronger. Kosygin, I think, was the first top Soviet visitor to uh, Aden in 1979, the year that, they, that the PDOI signed the treaties of friendship with, uh, with, with both uh, the Soviet Union and with, with, with Berlin uh, at the time. Um, these may, not, may, again, may sound esoteric, but in, in Russian terms, Soviet terms, these treaties were of were, were, uh, 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 great significance. And it continued. Well, throughout, there were changes in leadership in Moscow, and of course, big changes in uh, in, uh, in 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 the PDRY. Uh, but throughout all these changes, Russian support continued. Um, uh, uh, and I have to say that it, it, to qualify that is that a, a, a lot of very good relations was the other thing. There are very good relations between the, the Soviet leaders and the PDRY leaders, and you see this in in, in the correspondence. I think if I got. A, I'll come back to uh, this slide here. Shows it. You know, this is this is this is. I think I, I thought it, this is a typical picture to me. It seemed to be a showing the two friends between Brezhnev uh, and uh, Ali Nasr Mohammed. It, it's a, a symbol of what, what what was what was going on. I like go back. I, I won't leave this up here for long. This is this is the uh, where the, the Moscow was helping with the creation of the, of the party structure. As you can see, those terms are straight from uh, uh, straight from Russia. Uh, the use of the presidium and the creation of a party with Politburo and then uh, party committees that determined policy, which the government then implemented. But it was, it was a, it, 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 it was essentially a, a, a Soviet system replicated. Um, and economic support, uh, 
Uh, this was again, again significant for the PDRY, and it was a wide range of projects, uh, ranging from, uh, I've listed them there. Um, a lot of help with planning and administration, education and training. Uh, the, but the actual figure, total aid, was, was around 300 million. If you compare with that, say, say 2 billion for the military, it shows that, that the degree of support in the economic sphere was, 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 was much less. And that came down to this, uh, in part at least, to the fact that uh, the PDI was seen as a state of socialist orientation, not a socialist state. If it had been like Cuba, there would have been much uh, uh, higher amounts of aid. Uh, and the problem with that definition was that uh, it meant, f from Moscow's point of view, that, that Aden should find its own sources of revenue to supplement what... Uh, and that, it, of course, meant... Uh, and, and I think the advice was given from time to time, get better relations with Saudi Arabia and the, and the, and the GCC states, because if you if go back to the 1970s and 1980s, this was the time when oil revenues were... Uh, 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 the oil uh, riches were at, that, were at their height. Uh, uh, and South Yemen, PDRY missed out on this, although ma well, many people migrated and took jobs there. Um, but it wasn't, uh, although despite the, all, all, all these good things about it, there, there was quite a lot of dissatisfaction in the PDRY uh, about the degree of Soviet aid. Um, um, and there's also quite a lot of misunderstanding, I think, on the Russian side, which I think is visible in some of the archives and some of the mem mem memoirs. Uh, that, that, that it was quite difficult for them to understand or, or, or influence uh, what was going on. Um, uh, the PDRY leaders might listen to the, to, to the Russians, but they still carried on with their own business. Uh, and they're particularly concerned about the factionalism, I think, as they saw it within the PDRY. One group fighting another, presidents overthrown uh, 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 one, uh, another one. Um, this is what Alien Arsa said. I just left it up there. You know, it, it was in 1985. But it gives you a, a, just a, 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 an idea of, of what you thought. We don't consider ourselves merely friends of the USSR. We are partners on the same principles in the path of the great ideas of scientific socialism and proletarian internationalism. We consider this a fundamental path for our own Yemeni Socialist Party, etc., 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 etc. This is very much a, a phrase in the language of that, uh, of, of, that, uh, of that time. And he went on in an earlier time, one cannot put our country's friend and ally, the Soviet Union, on the same level as our principal enemy, US imperialist. Um, what Russia got in terms of strategic facilities in the, uh, in the PDRY was, um, it really in terms of, of, of its strategic rivalry with the US, and, and as I mentioned, the loss of Egypt, loss of Somalia. So I, I try to summarise here some of the benefits that uh, Russia received. The long distance aircraft operating out of Aden and, and, and Alad. Uh, Aden uh, used for airlifting. <coughs> Soviet troops were airlifted to Ethiopia through Aden uh, in, in 1979. When, and in fact, PDRY troops were also sent to Ethiopia at the time. Uh, uh, naval communications at Birfokum. There was an East German uh, communication surveillance uh, station in, in Aden. Um, and 700 Russian advisors with, uh, with the PDRY armed forces, plus the East German security forces. So it's, it's, a, it's a, a pretty considerable sum of money. But no, P, no PDRY bases in, uh, in, in the South, uh, just the use of facilities. In fact, one of the things I had to do when I was uh, a diplomat in Aden, we were actually taken all the diplomats were taken by the Russian uh, embassy to Sokotra uh, to, demonst to demonstrate there were no Russian bases on Sokotra. So we flew around the island and we visited all the bases, no Russian bases. Um, uh, and it was never quite clear what Moscow would do if the PDRY was attacked. It, because it, it never guaranteed, it was never a defensive even, uh, at least a, de a, a defense guarantee, but it, beyond statements saying we, the PDRY would not be alone. Uh, I, I, I think many of the people in the audience know the problems on the PDRY leadership, but I just want to go through them because the Russians, of course, had to deal with this. Um, now, the differences in the leadership were linked to the role of the party and government. You know, this is um, over ideology or pragmatism and economic policies, but specifically, I think, particularly over relations with the, with the Yemen Arab Republic. I mean. 
everybody wanted Yemeni unity, but within the PDRY there were always two streams of this. There was one stream that wanted the Yemeni Socialist Party to take over the North, which has its logic uh, in it, uh, and there, there were strong uh, national democratic forces in, the, uh, in, in Yemen were, uh, were in rebellion against uh, the, the Yemeni government. And that, for after 1988, 1978, was made the secret wing of the northern, uh, the northern wing of the Yemeni Socialist Party. But it was never declared publicly or admitted publicly. Uh, but everybody knew what was going on. So there were uh, North Yemeni members of the Politburo, of the Central Committee. But when photographs were taken of the Politburo and Central Committee, they were always asked to leave. Um, but it was a very clear indication, I think, that some parts of the uh, wanted uh, Unity, but other people, uh, and I think these would include Sadr Rabai Ali and Ali Nasser Muhammad, were much more interested in building up PDRY and didn't. They wanted unity, but not yet. You know, maybe in 20 or 30 years' time, Let, let's build our own states first. And they managed to form good relationships, particularly with Hamdi, uh, and then with uh, Ali Abdullah Saleh, uh, to uh, on, on that basis. Um, um, I, I put this up simply to, because uh, it's an easy way of just reminding you what the, the disputes were. Saad Rabai Ali in the, uh, on the left, the first president, was removed in 1978 by the other three, working together. <coughs> uh, then Abdel Fattah Ismail became uh, uh, president and the leading figure, and it was at that period, it was the height of the Soviet uh, influence. He was the person. He was, a, of course, a northerner, uh, uh, but uh, living in Aden, at least uh, Aden of northern origin, uh, originally, I think, from Al Jalf, the family, uh, they came from Taiz. Um, uh, and many people like him in, in, the, in the party from the north were strongly in favour of unity with the north, and also strongly in favour of the party, because the party was their power base, whilst the other, other other leaders tend to have their own regional strong points in Abyan or Lahej or Dala, uh, uh, etc. Uh, well, Abdel Fattah Ismail didn't last long. Uh, he was removed after two years by these two, uh, Ali Nasr Muhammad and Ali Antar. But here the, the Russians intervened to prevent him anything happening to him, and he was, uh, he was sent off to um, Moscow for five years, uh, 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 originally for medical treatment. Uh, some people thought it might be to avoid having medical treatment if he stayed. Uh, now here is Ali Nasser Muhammad giving him a medal. And, but it didn't affect relations with uh, Russia because here, a few years later, oh, two, one year later, is uh, Ali Nasser Muhammad giving Brezhnev uh, a, a medal. Um, and then finally, in, in, in 1986, these two fell out, Ali Nasser Muhammad Ali Antar fell out, and after Abdul Fattah Ismail had returned uh, to Yemen, uh, and uh, tensions rose, uh, I, um, it led to, the, I think, the events of 1980, 1986, the civil war, he fed, he fed in the south. Uh, when he, when, uh, the, the result of that was essentially uh, one part of the army, one part of the regime fighting another. Uh, Ali Nasser lost and went to the north, uh, and then the victors were left with a much weaker <coughs> state under Ali Salam as the um, uh, a, a, as the leader. Um, um, Moscow was taken by surprise by this event, so it should have been. Obviously, he must have known that, that it was going to happen because I mean I was a diplomat in London at the time. I knew it was going to happen. But nobody knew which side was going to attack the other first. But, it, but, but, but Ali Nasser uh, uh, made the attack. Um, but Russia was taken by surprise, but accepted the outcome, um, despite the fact that one third of the party had gone, uh, either with Ali Nasser or being killed. Um, uh, 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 but it, it carried on. But, um, of course, this is the, this, we're now to the era of Gorbachev, Glasnost, and, and Perestroika. Um, I'll, I'll come back to that again. Um, and it was at this stage that uh, 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 unity started becoming a realistic realism. I won't go into the, the, to the background to, to unity, but the Russians were very cautious about unity. They actually, I think, 
you can see from what they were saying at the time, there are two different political systems here. Uh, they would made all their investments in the South. And I think they might have agreed uh, with, with uh, uh, those that wanted to export the Yemen Socialist Party system to the North or, or not. Uh, but the, 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 the PDR had been essentially weakened by, the, um, uh, the, by those events. Uh, and unity was agreed in 1989 and took place in 1990. And I think we all know here about the failures of implementation, which I'm not going to go into. But of course the Berlin Wall fell in 1989, and it was that stage that Moscow's attention no longer, was no longer on Yemen. Uh, and well, they did try to mediate in the Civil War. That's going back to that. Well, the balance. I've tried to work out a balance here between um, what Moscow uh, gained and lost. Um, from, the, from, the, from the PDRY's point of view, uh, uh, M Moscow provided the security of the regime and through the army and, and what it did. It helped reorganize, equip the armed forces, it guided the uh, uh, Yemeni Socialist Party, advised on state structural policies, provided considerable economic aid, although not enough. Um, uh, and, but it did not provide enough to get the PDI out of poverty. Uh, it, it was, the, the PDI remained a, a poor country. From its side, uh, Aden provided uh, Moscow with access to strategic assets. That was a, 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 a benefit of the time. Uh, and it was, it was the closest uh, ally of, of Russia in the Arab world. Uh, um, and the PDRY seemed committed to these uh, uh, ideas at the time of, of, what, uh, of a country on a path to, to, to socialism. Uh, so it had all that, and it provided diplomatic support to, uh, to um, uh, Russia when it, when it was required. But it did not provide enough intelligence, or, uh, or, and it left significant debt. Um, I, I tried to ask also, are there any lessons to learn from this? Well, the Russians with experience of the PDO, I actually look back with nostalgia. I keep finding this. Russians and East Germans, uh, people from East Germany in the past, uh, look with nostalgia and some pride on what they achieved. And uh, you know, this was seen as, uh, as, as, as something that, uh, that, they, that they feel uh, proud about. Many South Yemenis were trained in Russia or, or, or by Russians. Um, um, and the, and there's current Russian scholarship. I see that from the S this STC, Southern Transition Council, does see this uh, uh, clearly as, as an important legacy. But we saw that Adolf Sobeidi in, in Moscow. I won't treat into what you're saying. But I'm not sure that the, um, the Russians quite see it in the same way. But we'll, 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 we'll hear about this in, in a second. The whole approach seemed to me, looking at it, at how it started, was essentially opportunistic begin with the Russians, but he saw an opportunity in 1967, moved in quite quickly, but interests grew, but the PDI was never essential to, to, the, to, to, to Moscow. Um, but Moscow was essential to PDI in terms of its army and, 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 and support. Um, uh, and also, I haven't talked about this very much, but I mean the one has to look upon this uh, 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 Russia's broader foreign policy with Yemen, North Yemen, which was providing arms. I mean, the arms that were used to su suppress the NDF, the northern branch of the Yemeni Socialist Party, were from Russia. Uh, 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 and also, it was at the, in this later period, it was trying to build up its own relationship with the UAE and Saudi Arabia, which were enemies of the, of the PDRY. But I'm going to stop there, so uh, Samuel will continue with the, the current situation.